in the midst of war in Europe and floods in Australia and the suffering of this world, it can break your heart open if you're willing. If you're willing to bear the suffering, you know, your own personal suffering, our own personal suffering, small change. Here we are, free enough and alive enough to be here and to hear the truth and speak the truth. We're not going to be shot in this moment. So our own personal suffering, what does it matter? In the face of the global suffering that we as a human species are causing. It's heartbreaking particularly in these moments of crisis, of a war, a senseless, mindless, stupid wars, uh, taking innocent lives and destroying people's homes. And the floods have washed away all, splashed away full towns in Australia. Our meeting room today is underwater. It's heartbreaking. The tendency is to become nihilistic and say, it's just too much. I can't bear it. I'll avert my eyes through some distraction, some pleasure, some sense, some uh, desire fulfilled instead of bearing the heartbreak. But if you're willing to bear it, You're willing to let in the horror that's happening right in this moment as we are here together. And something deeper can open. You can give yourself to something deeper than your own personal agenda. That's giving your life in service. The Buddhists call it being a bodhisattva. Being a bodhisattva means you wake up and you come back to help again, and you come back to help again. I don't know if you come back or not. That's not my business. I'm talking about what's here right now. Don't future trip on who you're going to be or who you were. Be here now. And then if here now is committed to something more important and more fundamental than your opinions, than your personal desires, you give yourself to something deeper, then you'll be used. You'll both have a test for awakening and you'll be used in service. And that use will be a test as well to see what you're staying true to, really. How much me is involved, if any. And then you'll see deeper and more deeply into yourself, and you'll be freer. And the freer you are, the more you can stand for truth. Slaves can't stand for truth as long as they're willing to be slaves. But once there's a slave rebellion, Everyone stands up. Everyone says, I am Spartacus. I am the one. Nothing stops that. And we enter a different age. Whether it's possible or not, who can say? Whether it will happen or not, who can say? What choice do we have? We can play at rearranging the furniture on the Titanic to distract yourself and to do good work. Set up an area where people can have comfort zones on the Titanic. And yeah, that's good. It's better than panic. But that's still in the realm of a sinking ship. If 
we're here today to wake up and be free. And in waking up and being free, you give your life to service. Who knows how that shows up? Maybe you put your body on the gears of the machine so it can't run anymore. Maybe you say, enough, enough. I'm tired of being a slave, and I am called to put my body on the gears of the machine to stop it. Just like there were people in the Ukraine who stood in front of the tanks. Just like the person in Tiananmen Square standing in front of the tank. That's an act of true character. That's what we're all here for, to stand up in the face of everything.